What's up, everyone? I hope everyone's doing well today. So, a little while ago, we saw that the I2P network ended up getting attacked in a pretty intense fashion. Um, this ended up leading to a lot of downtime. That said, it was also kind of a good thing. Um, it led to improvements, you know. Uh, so, for the last couple of days, I've been going back and forth with not Bob. Uh, anyone in the I2P scene knows who I'm talking about. Not Bob basically runs the site that like we can see here. You know, notbob.i2p. It's an index of a bunch of I2P sites. You know, site shows other sites. Uh, if you can catch that by seeing the video. It's kind of like reminiscent of like back in the day when they had like the you know the hidden wiki. Um, this is kind of like that, but for the I2P network. The index. Part of his site I definitely like. The rest of his site is, you know, kind of weird aside from that. You know, he's extremely knowledgeable uh, when it comes to I2P, definitely. So much so that, like, I actually figured out a way to be able to conduct interviews with him and with everyone else that I know who is, like, highly security conscious. Uh, essentially, asking questions and he'll be answering them, but, like, it'll be me and... I'll read his answers back, but I'll be doing it from a cloaked position so it seems like an actual interview. And I'm telling you this now because at the end of the day, like I always try to disseminate true information on this channel. I'm not going to tell you that, you know, I'm interviewing him and, you know, you'll have like, you know, what you think is actually him, but it's not. And I know some of you may say like, that takes away from like the theatrical experience, but I wanted to be honest with you, um, you know, about it. Furthermore, like I have a few other people who are highly sensitive, who, you know, about their their privacy, um, who may also be willing to give interviews like this, um, if you know, I can guarantee that their identity is protected and it's completely secure. And that's you know, the only way I can do that is to be the actual voice. Um, because a lot of times, you know, those voiceovers can be reverse engineered. So, you know, basically, I wasn't going to tell you that I'm doing an interview with him and, you know, be the voice and you guys, you know, not know. So basically, I'm the one who's going to be doing the voiceover. And in any case, like, it's a side issue. Um, not Bob and I have been going back and forth through email you know, for a little while now, and he's given me a ton of quality information on I2P that really helped me understand the network much better. And I'm, I'm very excited to be able to, in turn, impart that knowledge to all of you out there that, you know, enjoy my, my content. Um, and that video will be coming out soon. And basically, I'll put his name on the video. So like you guys know what to look out for in that case. Um, I wanted to address the DDoS attacks that happened, um, because I'm definitely not a developer of I2P, but like rather a total neophyte. The reliable source of information that I can quote um, are those who are developers or who have extensive experience, you know, using the network. And as such, we'll start off with not Bob, um, because he's a he's a great one that qualifies for that. Not Bob had this to say about the DDoS attacks. As for the attacks, we had some meetings today about it. I don't know how useful that was. Bureaucracy exists in every walk of life, even more so when dealing with multiple teams that don't have entirely the same goals or even have the same native language. But some good has come of it. The head of the I2PD team is working on a fix for I2PD and the I2P team is doing much of the same. Though the I2PD has been much harder hit, once that team gets fixes in place, it should get pretty much better for everybody. I'd also like to point out that I2P plus routers fare even better, but that's more to do with the aggressive modifications. Every router is still at the mercy of the rest of the network. It may be a few weeks till patches are in place, possibly longer. It's just not the time that it takes to code the solution, but for users to update. We don't use any forced update system. Java I2P will auto-update, but I2PD does not. 
Sadly, roughly half of the network is still running code from the last major patch. Though that being said, routers will not talk to each other that are too old, which means that they just fall off the network. People eventually update and 100% is not needed for the patches to be effective. As someone who can fully appreciate privacy and individuals who want to maintain their privacy, I would like to clarify that prior to showing this and, you know, reading it on YouTube, I did clear it with Not Bob. And this information, you know, that it could be put out there. Um, Not Bob, in addition to myself, both have, you know, extreme dislike, let's just say, um, of my fellow YouTubers who, you know, one of the big reasons I ended up actually coming on YouTube um, was because I hated the nonsense that people were putting out there uh, about places like the Darknet. And, you know, we've all heard it, the Darknet mystery boxes and stupid red rooms and, you know, alien videos and, you know, whatnot. Of course, you know, most of you who have any experience with the Darknet know all of this is the complete nonsense and that... At the end of the day, um, the only kind of videos you're going to be, you know, finding on the dark net are probably going to involve kids. Um, and, you know, in fact, if anyone that I talk to, you know, talks to me about, you know, watching videos in the dark net, it's a huge red flag. And I tend to walk away immediately from that conversation. Um, I, I digress. So switching gears, we have ZZZ.I2P, um, which... You know, on this site, again, it's a great source of information. The administrator here um, said that, you know, we have uh, confirmed that the attack controls a large number of routers. Our investigations and migrations continue. This is a good time to remind people that even after 20 years, the I2P network is still relatively small. We have no evidence that the attack is attackers attempting to de-anonymize any particular user or hidden service. However, if you have a high-risk threat model, you should carefully consider whether I2P currently provides the protection you require. The best solution in the long run is to the best solution in the long run is to spread the word and to grow the I2P network to increase the security of its users. We will provide additional information here in the console news feed as necessary. We ask for your patience as we work to improve I2P. Uh, we can see here, you know, at the bottom, you know, someone asked a question about, you know, modifying um, things. And then, you know, the ZZZ says, you know, just leave the default. So mess with it. So anyways, there you have it. The, you know, the full I2P getting DDoS report. <laughs> you know, sorry, it wasn't much uh, considering most of us here or rather many of the people that I talked to here. um we're on tour and are, you know, starting to migrate to I2P, seeing the DDoSer migrate with us kind of sucks. Um, that said, I do think that, you know, I2P will hold up and that the devs will, you know, hopefully be a bit more responsive than, you know, the ones we saw over at tour. Um, as of like 2012, 80% of the tour projects, you know, $2 million plus budget came from the United States government with the United States State Department, the Broadcasting Board of Governors, and the National Science Foundation as major contributors to aid democracy advocates in authoritarian states. The Swedish government and you know other organizations provided the other 20%. I love Tor. I mean, I even had it, you know, I have a tattoo to my arm. Um, but that said, I think I2P is where the future is. Um, in any case, like, Thank you very much for watching and a really big thank you to all of those, you know, out there who have hit that like button, who have subscribed and people who take the time to comment. You all subscribing tells me that you like the content that I make, which helps immensely, you know, with my self-esteem. <laughs> um, seriously, though, like you all encourage me to keep putting out content, you know, by doing this and I sincerely wanted to let you know that I really appreciate all of you more than any of you will ever actually know so thank you for that and I'll see you all in the next one until next time stay safe secure and free